want you to realize, ladies and gentlemen, the most important thing that you will ever do in your life, nothing comes even close, is to find what your happiness means to you. Define it. Write it down. Don't worry about writing down how you get there. That comes later. Write down what makes you happy. What is it that you want to strive for? Is it a relationship? A lifelong relationship? Is it a partner in your life? Is it is it business related? Do you want to be the best at some particular theme in business? Do you want to own your own company? Do you want to be your own CEO? How many employees do you want to have? Is is that all part of it? Do you want to live in a 10,000 square foot mansion? Do you want to be live on the water? Do you, what is it that defines your happiness? That is the most important and probably the hardest thing that you will ever do. I actually have mentioned this before, but it's been a long time. If you need to go to a hotel and lock yourself in the room and, you know, order pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and do nothing but think and read to decide what makes you happy, what is it that makes you the happy person you want to be? What is your happiness? Then that two-day hiatus will be well worth it. Because once you decide what it is, I want you to do nothing but to think about already having it. You are there. You own it. If you drive by an expensive car, I don't want you to think to yourself, that's too much money, I'll never own one of those. Guess what? The universe will fulfill that order. But if you drive by that expensive car and say, you know what? I've got one of those sitting in my garage. The universe will find a way to fulfill that order. If you are shopping through the real estate magazines and see that perfect home for you and your family or just you or whatever, I don't want you to think I'll never be able to have something like that because the universe will fulfill that order. I want you to think I have that. I already have that. I'm already living there. This is my address. This is where you write me. I want you to imagine it down to the minutest of detail as though you already have it. And then listen, this is very important. I do not want you to discuss these things with anyone else. No one. Your goals are your goals alone. They are private and not to be shared with anyone because the last thing you ever want to hear from anyone else, be it a spouse, be it a partner, be it a friend, it does not matter, is if you don't make it by the time that you say that you will make it, you do not want to hear, I told you so. That's for you and you only to hear and then adjust your goals. In other words, no negative feedback, no negative thoughts, none. Perish them. I want you to be so happy every morning when you get up with the person that stares back in the mirror at you when you are preparing for your day. I want you to give gratitude for everything you have even those things that you don't have. I want you to give gratitude for them, and the universe will fulfill. Now, the kiss of death for any success goal is to discuss that goal with a partner, with a spouse. Now, there is an exception to that. Major financial expenditures. You might want to share that with a partner if they are also responsible this is important for the accumulation of the money required for that financial goal. But do so very carefully. Do it with the preface that this is what you want out of life and you have learned that the universe will fulfill your desires. If you do not think lack, if you think and realize that you already own it, even if you don't, 